In this video, we're going to find the derivative of natural log of x using limit definition of derivative. So we have the derivative of f of x is the limit is h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So we're going to plug that in. So we have the derivative of ln x is the limit h goes to 0 of ln of x plus h minus ln x over h. This will be the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 over h. Fact, we're going to factor that out. ln of b minus ln a is ln of b over a. So we have the natural log of x plus h over x. This will be the limit as h goes to 0. 1 over h times ln, x over x is 1, plus h over x. We're going to have the derivative of ln x is the limit as h goes to 0. So we can bring the 1 over h to the front because we have the ln of a, b to the b times ln a is ln of a to the b. So this would be natural log of 1 plus h h over x to the 1 over h. So this will be the limit. So we can exchange the limit in the natural log. So it will be a natural log of the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 plus h over x to the 1 over h. We're going to let t equal the reciprocal of h over x, which is x over h. This will be that h is so, so h so let's see 1 over t is h over x so h is x over t this will be the natural log of the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 plus 1 over t instead of h going to 0 we have t going to x over 0 which is infinity 1 over h is t over x and we can factor that out, so it would be a natural log of the limit as t goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over t to the t, all raised to the 1 over x. And this is e. So you can plug a big number into your calculator and you'll get that this is approaching e. So it would be a natural log of e to the 1 over x. We can bring this to the front, like before, so this would be 1 over x, ln e ln e is 1, so this is just 1 over x. So that's the end of the video.